I am Etienne Dumas. I'm also known as Coach ET. And um, what we are doing today is we're going to be doing a progression of serving. And this is an interesting way of getting your timing and the correct technique as you're serving. The key is, is actually doing it backwards, meaning we start almost with the finish and then go to the beginning. Okay, so this is the first progression that we work on. The most important thing is that we're going to use our line as a gauge. So we start with our feet. Even if you serve with platform or pinpoint, the first progression always starts with your feet together and your feet right over where the line is. On your first progression, you take your racket and your swing pattern, you take it up to 90 degrees. So your elbow is at 90 degrees and you're making sure that this arm is not on this side, but is far back over here to gain your torque. So 90 degrees at this corner of the court. Your left arm as you're tossing, and again, this is for a right-handed server, your left arm is going to follow this line. And you want to toss this ball right above you at 12 o'clock. So on this first progression, I'm going to toss. The racket's going to drop behind my back. I'm going to turn, go up, and I'm actually going to hit my shot. When I hit the shot, I'm going to finish into the court. So my first progression, I line up. My racket goes to 90 degrees. I make sure it's at the corner. I get my toss, and at this point I toss at 12, and then I hit. Yeah, so here we go. This is going to be the first progression. So my racket goes to 90 degrees. Again, I'm exaggerating, making sure the toss is at 12, and I'm snapping. I'll go again. Racket at 90. Toss. Last one. Racket at 90. Toss. Okay, so ET will be demonstrating this first progression that we just were uh, talking about. So the first thing he's going to do is he lines his feet up. Okay, so he's using this line as a point of reference. And he's going to be tossing his ball at 12 o'clock. When he starts the beginning of the, 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 the progression, he takes his racket at nine, elbow at 90 degrees. He's making sure the elbow's at the corner so he's getting his torque. Meanwhile, he's going to be tossing at 12. So he's using his elbow at 90 degrees and he's going to make sure that he takes it. So start again, ET from low and show the motion, the elbow up 90 degrees. Very good. Now from here, he's going to do his toss, bend and hit. Go ahead, ET. Very good. As he's doing this, he's looking at the ball to make sure it hits his target, which is right at the T. That makes his head stay still as he's coming through the serve. Go again, ET. Feet, elbow 90 degrees, toss at 12, toss, bend, explode. Notice too, for the more advanced players, their goal is also to land on this line in balance. So when he finishes the hit, his goal is to land in balance on this line. Feet on the line, his racket goes back to 90 degrees, he checks it straight up. Now, toss. You're good. Up. Very good. Good. Arm height, 90 degrees. Very, very good. One more. One more. You're doing really good. Keep that up here at 90. One. Good. Toss. Very, very good. So now the second progression, what we do is we're making sure our feet in the same spot. We are again, we now do a full motion serve. So we go with our full motion to get our racket to our 90 degree. So second progression starts here. We're going to do full motion. You'll go with the toss, bend, and hit. Etienne's going to do the demo of the second progression. Now the way these work, one progression goes into the other progression. We'll go into the third progression. When you do all three, that'll be one set. Your goal is to do 10 sets. So on the second progression, he starts his feet together and he will do a full motion. When he does his full motion, his goal is to feel that first progression here. So he's getting his motion of the racket right into that 90 degrees. Okay? Show, uh, show the demo, please. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep your head still and look at the ball. He's again looking at the ball to figure out what part of the ball is he hitting to make sure that it's going right on the tee. Every serve is on the tee. 
Very good. So now the idea when he's doing this progression is he's going to look at the part of the ball to hit to go to the target on the left or the one on the right or the one in the middle. This forces his head to stay still. So he goes again, second progression. Let's with target, let's go to the one in the right. The one to the right. Very good. Now let's do another progression, the second progression still. Let's go to the target on the left. Full motion, 90 degrees, up. Not bad. And it also gives them purpose as they're training to see where they're going so it stops this type of thing where they're trying to serve and they're looking over here instead of looking at the ball. So that's your second progression. Now we go to the third. So now, notice that when E.T. When e. serves, his feet are always in this position and the, the reason why we start with your feet together is because it depends on his, in his game as he, gets, as he develops. If he gets more comfortable serving and volleying where he's going to go into the step, he's already got that because he has it built in. But for him, his normal serve right now, his feet are apart. So now he does again, his regular serve, he's going to try to get his arm at 90 degrees, he's looking at the ball, part of the ball he's hitting, and ideally he wants to try to finish into the court on this line. So now he goes into his third progression, full motion serve. Very good. Bravo, Etienne, bravo. Bravo, bravo. So now we are going to put all three progressions together. And what's very important is to notice from, from the first progression how the second progression goes right into that first and then how the third goes to two, one. So they all go together. So now he's going to do first progression ET. Very first one, feet together. His arm's going to go up to 90 degrees. The elbow's going to be pointing to that side. Palm down ET, go. Up, very good. Second, now he goes right to his second progression. Feet are together still. He goes into his full motion. He's trying to feel that elbow high at 90 into the side. Bravo. Now he does his third progression. Now he's going to serve normally, which he normally doesn't stand in this position, this position locks you, so you really have to have the toss correct. So that's why I really like starting here. But the other reason is, if we decide that he's going to go into more explosive game where he's serving and volleying, and I feel he's going to get more explosion jumping with both legs, he can do it. Do your regular third uh, service motion. Go. Good job. That's another great thing. He did not hit the ball with the wrong toss. Bravo, bravo. So one set is the first progression, second progression, third progression. That's one set. You want to do 10 sets from here. After the 10 sets are done from here, we'll go back to the baseline after that. Now, if he wants to do a serve with the step, do a one serve ET, and this time you can step. When he decides to go ahead into the step, he's going to be transferring his weight forward into his platform, which then will get him to jump up into the court, okay? Last but not least, these lines are very important. Because we line up for your first progression again, ET, what's really important is how he's standing. You know, it would not work, move over here, if he's kind of over here. So he's really using the lines correctly. Also, he's going to want to land on this line. That's the idea. So these are important. And also, the targets, all this will help you put that serve together. And those progressions, when you do 10, that's a minimum. If you can get 20 or more, it's just going to get better and better and better. So now when we start these progressions from the baseline, we still use the lines and as a gauge. So this, your feet are still here lined up correctly because you want to make sure your knees go over this line. This gravity helps pull you into the court. So then not only with the knees going over your toes, over the baseline, 
but we're also making sure that we're using this line of reference, the line in the net strap. So your tossing arm should be going here this way, following that line in the net strap. And this toss has to be above you at 12 o'clock to make sure that ball goes over the net, okay? ET, let's do a demo. So line up, he lines up, feet together. Again, same first progression. He takes his racket, back to 90 degrees, palm down, toss. Very nice. There it is, 90 degrees, toss at 12. Go. Good. Toss. Up. The goal is, is his toss is above him at 12 o'clock. So he wants it at 12 o'clock. Go. Yes. Okay. Second progression, feet together, does his full motion. Again, toss has to be at 12 o'clock. Third progression, he does his regular motion. And 12, serve has to be at 12 o'clock. Great sound, ET. Using, using the net strap in the line, making sure the knees go over toes so that your energy and gravity is pulling you into the court. This torque with that elbow to the side, ET, come back to your first progression. You don't need a ball. Show me your first progression. Two things he really needs to do is this has to be at 90 degrees here. That he's going torque into the court to gain extra power. So this elbow at 90 over there, the left arm going here is going to add the torque that he wants. Let's do two last ones. Now ET go down to T. Finishing the court, buddy. You're doing great. Bravo, much better. So in recap, the, 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 the importance of these progressions is not to rush, to take your time and make sure all the pieces are in place, okay? When you're tossing that ball, looking at that ball to figure out what target you're hitting, that keeps your head still. It makes you follow the ball the whole time. Also making sure that that toss is following that net strap, it's going to stop and it's going to alleviate the toss going across and sporadic where you're trying to make a toss by going to 12, your arm is connected to the, your arm is connected to your body. So that ball is going to go right into your strike zone. And the third is really forcing yourself to use your legs to explode up to the ball. Okay. When you do these progressions, like I said, you do them first at the service line, then you come back to the baseline, and then after that, you'll be winning matches all day.